Hello guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to create a Windows password removal USB that you can plug into your computer, boot from it, and easily reset or remove any Windows login password or PIN. There might come a time when you forget your Windows 10 or 11 login password or PIN, and it can be seriously frustrating. You start searching for solutions online, wasting time on articles and videos with no guarantee they'll even work. Follow my video carefully, and at the end of the video, you will reset your login password or PIN successfully. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right in. As you can see, I'm currently on the Windows 10 login screen, and it's asking for my password. But when I try entering it, I get the incorrect password error. I've probably forgotten it, or just can't remember the right one. This same method works even if you're using a Microsoft PIN instead of a password. Now, the bootable USB we're going to use is Hiron's Bootable USB, a powerful and widely used tool that offers more than just a password reset tool. It's packed with lots of powerful tools and utilities. To get started, open your browser and search for Hiron CD. Click on the first link that appears, then go to the download section at the top of the page and click on download in the menu. Scroll all the way down and you'll see a file named hbcdx64.iso. Click to download the file. It's around 3.1 gigabytes, so give it a few minutes to finish. Next, download the Rufus application. Open a new tab and search for Rufus. Click on the first link of official Rufus website. This is the tool we'll use to create our bootable USB drive. Scroll down and click on the link for Rufus 4.7 XC to download it. You can close any ads or pop-ups that appear. Once both files are downloaded, go to your download folder and first open the Rufus application, double-click on the file and click Yes when prompted. You'll see the Rufus dashboard pop-up. At the top under device, it should automatically detect your connected USB drive. Make sure you're using at least an 8GB USB drive for this process. Next, on the boot selection, choose disk or ISO image and then click on select. Navigate to the location where you downloaded the Hirons boot ISO, select it and click open. You can change the volume label if you'd like or leave it as is. Then just click start. You'll get a warning that all data on the USB drive will be erased. So if you have anything important on it, back it up first. Click OK and Rufus will begin creating the bootable USB. It should only take a couple of minutes. Just wait until the process is complete. Alright, the bootable USB is now ready. You can go ahead and close Rufus. If I open File Explorer, you'll see the USB drive now shows up as Hiron's boot CD. All the necessary files have been successfully copied. Now you're all set. Just plug this bootable USB into the computer where you want to remove or reset the Windows password. I'm now back on the same PC where I forgot the password. Here's what you need to do. At the login screen, look for the power icon in the bottom right corner. Press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, then click the power icon and choose restart. Make sure you're still holding shift until it restarts. After a few seconds, your PC will boot into the advanced startup options. From here, click on troubleshoot, then go to advanced options and choose UFI firmware settings. Then click on restart button, this will reboot your system directly into the BIOS. Alternatively, if you prefer, you can enter the BIOS using the BIOS shortcut key during startup, usually F2, delete or escape, depending on your system. Once you're inside the BIOS, you'll need to boot from the USB drive, the same one we created earlier using Hiron's boot CD. Navigate to the boot menu, select your USB device and press enter. This will begin loading the necessary files and since it's the first time, it may take a couple of minutes. Just be patient. Alright, once everything finishes loading, you'll see that we've successfully booted into the Hiron's Boot CD environment. It looks and feels just like a Windows 10 desktop, and now we're ready to reset or remove the login password. Once you're inside the Hiron's Boot CD desktop, click the Windows icon, then go to All Programs. Next, navigate to the Security folder, and under that, look for Passwords. 
Here, you'll see several tools that can help you reset or remove passwords, but the one I recommend is Windows Login Unlocker, which works best in most cases. Click on it and you'll see a dashboard appear showing all the user accounts that exist on your computer. Next, locate the account for which you've forgotten the password. In my case, it's a user named ByteGeek. Select that account and you'll see multiple options like Restore Account, Backup Account, Bypass Password, Create a New User, Reset or Unlock Password. You can also right-click the account to access quick actions like Disable Account, Clear History, Reset Password, Change Password or Delete User. I want to reset the password, so I'm clicking Reset Password. A prompt appears to confirm the reset for the user Byte Geek. Click OK. And bingo! Password has been successfully reset. Click OK, then go ahead and restart your computer. When you're back at the login screen, you'll now be able to sign in without entering a password or PIN. Let me go ahead and click Sign In. We're back on the desktop. This process is truly one of the most simple and efficient ways to reset or remove a forgotten password on Windows 10 or 11. Plus, the Hirons Boot USB is super useful for fixing blue screen errors, performing data recovery, and much more. So it's a fantastic idea to keep a bootable USB like this handy. It can save you a lot of trouble down the line. That's all for today. I really hope this video helped you out and saved you from that frustrating Windows login password. If it did, smash that like button and hit subscribe so you never miss out on more easy step-by-step -step tech tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.